This video demonstrates how to configure 802.1x authentication on Wagia Cloud. IEEE 802.1x is a port-based network access control standard that provides secure access services for LANs. 802.1x is typically used in environments that require high security, such as corporate offices, campus networks, and financial institutions. An 802.1x network typically uses a client-server architecture. It comprises three entities, the client, the access device, and the authentication server. The client refers to a user terminal, while the access device is typically a network device, such as a switch or AP, that supports the 802.1x standard and provides the port for client access to the LAN. The authentication server, usually a RADIUS server, conducts user authentication, authorization, and accounting. Log into Ruegia Cloud. On the home page, choose Auth and Accounts Authentication 802.1x server to access the Authentication Server Configuration page. In the Server Group List area, click Add. The Add Server Group dialog box is displayed. In the Add Server Group dialog box, enter the server group name. Add a server to the server group, set server IP address, server name, authentication port, accounting port, shared key, and match order. Note, the shared key on the network device and authentication server must be consistent. Match order indicates the sequence of authentication server priorities when multiple authentication servers are specified. A larger number indicates a higher priority. Click Add Server to add multiple servers to the server group for authentication redundancy. After the authentication server group is added, configure server global settings as required. The configuration parameters are described as follows. Packet retransmission timer indicates the interval at which a device waits for a response from the authentication server after sending an authentication request. If no response is received within this interval, the device will resend the request. Packet retransmission times indicates the maximum number of times an authentication request can be retransmitted if no response is received from the authentication server. If all retransmission attempts fail, the device considers that the authentication failed. Server probe indicates whether the device checks the availability of the authentication server. If it is enabled, the device periodically detects availability of the authentication server. Server probe interval indicates the interval at which a device detects the authentication server. This helps detect server unavailability in advance and avoid authentication failures. Server probe count indicates the maximum number of times the device attempts to detect the authentication server. If the server remains unresponsive after all attempts, it is considered unavailable. Server probe username indicates the username used by the device to probe the authentication server. The device sends requests using this username to check whether the server is functioning correctly. Once the RADIUS server is configured, it can be applied to 802.1x wired or wireless authentication. Eight zero two point one X wired authentication is applicable to wired networks, where the access device is typically a switch and clients connect to the network through Ethernet cables. Click the Wired tab, and then click Configure Now. After the authentication server is added, set Auth Server Group to the new authentication server, and then click Next. On the Select Device page, select the device on which 802.1x authentication is to be enabled, and then click Next. Select the ports on which 802.1x authentication is to be enabled and the corresponding authentication server group, and then click Next. On the Deliver Configurations page, verify that the 802.1x settings are correct, and then click Apply to apply the settings. After the settings are successfully applied, click Finish. Connect a client to an 802.1x enabled switch through an Ethernet cable and complete Internet access authentication. 
Log into Ruegia Cloud and choose Clients off Clients 802.1x off Clients Authenticated Wired Clients. If the connected client is displayed, the configuration is successful. Eight zero two point one X wireless authentication is applicable to wireless networks, where the access device is typically an AP, and clients connect to the network through Wi-Fi. Click the Wireless tab, and then click Go to the SSID page. On the SSID page, select the target wireless network, and then click Edit. In the displayed template pop-up window, set encryption option to eight zero two point one X Enterprise and encryption method to WPA2-802.1x. Set off server group to the new authentication server, and then click OK. You can choose off and accounts authentication 802.1x wireless to configure other authentication parameters. Set server packet ACK timeout. It indicates the timeout period during which the client waits for a response from the authentication server. If this timer expires, authentication fails. Toggle on Escape SSID as required. When this function is enabled, the system will create a temporary Wi-Fi network for users if the authentication server is unavailable. If this function is enabled, you need to set the Escape SSID and Escape Encryption type. Toggle on Reauthentication as required. When this function is enabled, the authentication server will periodically re-authenticate users, disconnecting those whose information does not match the server. Click Save. Connect a client to an 802.1x enabled SSID and complete internet access authentication. Log into Ruegia Cloud and choose Clients off Clients 802.1x off Clients Authenticated Wireless Clients. If the connected client is displayed, the configuration is successful. To follow this issue, comment on our video or send an email to us. See you in the next video.